I'm going to add a little more bronze flesh. I'm just going to add <clears throat> a little bit more bronze flesh. Now you really want to dilute your brighter colors because they'll come out chalky if you don't dilute them enough. So I actually dilute my brighter colors more than I would the darker ones. Now the reason why I started <clears throat> with darker colors is because uh, darker colors cover over brighter colors a lot easily, or a lot more easier, or I don't even know, I don't care, nonetheless, um, a lot more easily, there we go. And um, <clears throat> if you do all your highlights first and then go to your shadows and you screw up, then there's really nothing you can do about it. But if you start with your shadows and then go to your highlights, it's really easy if you screw up. It actually just adds to the transition. Okay, now I'm really focusing the paint over here. And I may add a little more bronze flesh just to get a more um, opaque kind of look. problem with this is it's going to start to get chalky but that's okay because I'm going to be coming in with um, a glaze of blood red and then a glaze of mechrite red in a minute to help tie everything together give everything some nice color see look at that that's gross I can see that I don't know if you guys can it's gross. Okay, so I did that. Okay, <clears throat> that's as far as I'm gonna go with that highlight. Now I'm gonna come in with blood red, just as a glaze, not as this technique. I'm literally gonna glaze everywhere.
give it nice color. I don't want any bubbles, so a light glow will help eliminate that. <clears throat> now I'm going to come in with Mechrite Red. Once again, just as a glaze. I'm literally going to glaze everywhere. Now, just to kind of reinforce those shadows again, I'm going to come in with the first shadow, not the first, but the second one. I'm just going to come in and play with those just a little bit. Just taking that blood red wash again. You come in and play with that and say this.